G'day, it's Bill here from Optics Central. Today we're um, unboxing a, an advanced VX 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain bundle. Uh, and as you can see, it comes in multiple boxes. We've got, uh, it, it starts with the AVX mount itself. Um, this is, um, well, I'll get to that in a minute. There's the AVX mount. Uh, there's a Cassegrain 8-inch OTA, that's the optical tube as, uh, assembly. And uh, the third thing is just another counterweight for the, for, for the equatorial mount. Let's talk first about the, uh, the, the, the telescope itself. That's this guy. Um, the, uh, the, the Schmidt Cassegrain 8 inch has a 2032 millimeter focal length and a, a focal ratio of 10, which means that it is a planet, spe uh, planet specialist. Um, it's very, very good for uh, maximum magnification. Uh, and it's, it's good at uh, utilising the available light that it's got. Um, planets are small and very bright objects, in, in which case this setup is just perfect for a planet. It's also good for the Moon. With the supplied 25mm eyepiece, you can get the whole of the Moon just in the field of vision. Uh, so that's, that, that's the very... Um, uh, nicely balanced sort of sort of thing. You use a smaller eyepiece, of course, so say a five millimeter, and you'll get, um, just doing the maths in my head, uh, you get about four views across the whole of the, plan the, 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 the face of the moon. So you'll see individual planets and you get a nice view of Tycho and things like that. The telescope has the standard uh, XLT Starbright coatings, which gives uh, good color representation and good light, uh, light transmission. Okay, turning to the mount, this guy, um, the AVX or the Advanced VX from T uh, Celestron is the uh, Celestron's entry level computerized go to equatorial mount. Uh, it's a bit of a workhorse, it's been around for a while and it's very reliable. Um, it's got a payload of 13.7 of, uh, kilos, uh, which means that it's, uh, it, it's good for small to medium sized uh, uh, telescopes. Um, anything larger than that, you, you, might, you might need to move to a, a CGX mount. The mount, because it's an equatorial mount, is good for visual, um, visual work, but it's really built for astronomical uh, photography. Um, it's very good at, once you've, got it, uh, once you've got it aligned, it's very, very good at tracking the stars as they move across the sky. Um, which means that you can you can use uh, you can use long period um, exposure in your astrophotography and get some really beautiful uh, results with dim objects like uh, like nebulas and stuff. Particularly the small dim nebulas, uh, the the Celestron 8-inch Cassegrain, uh, like I said, has got very large magnification. So so if you get a small but dim nebula, you're going to need um, magnification from here and the the time exposure that this guy is able to give you to get the optimal photograph. So let's get in the unboxing. We'll change the camera angles around now. Okay, we're back. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox the mount uh, and the, these other parts. I'm going to big, make a big mess here in front of me. And then we'll start to build the, uh, we'll start by building the tripod and then we'll put the mount on top of the tripod. Um, okay, so let's get into it. This is my favorite bit. And as usual, it's a box within a box. Instructions. I'm right, these are the legs. Yes, they are. Accessory tray. Good and heavy. It's also a little bit stiff. There we go. In here we have a medium sized box. It's probably the head.
That's cute. This is the Celestron Nexstar Plus hand controller for equatorial mounts. Aha, now. Counterweight bar. With the most important thing in the entire box is the safety thing. Have you ever dropped one of those counterweights on your foot? I don't recommend it. Here is the mount head. Just there. And these are azimuth adjusting bolts. Counterweight, which goes with the other counterweight. Now this, I believe we only need one of the one of the counterweights. So I'll, I'll bring one of them out. And some cables. Cables for the uh, hand the hand controller, I believe, and power cable. Now the final thing we've got to get out of this is the uh, the holster for the uh, for the hand controller, and I believe it's in this box here. Guys, put that back in there. The holster comes in two parts, which is a bit strange, but it works out. I think I'm just going to move this box. Yeah, that gives us a bit more room. Let's see. Move this. These are the, the parts for the holder. Now, moving to the telescope. More, more unboxing. La 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 la. Have I mentioned that I love unboxing? Now, inside here, we have three small little white, white things. Uh, this is an eyepiece. Uh, we've got a star diagonal and a Celestron finder scope. And the star of the show. Is the Celestron 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain OTA, which is a marvelous piece of equipment. There we go. And there's instructions for that as well. That's with the, these instructions. And there we have it. Now I'm going to change the camera angles again to get a better idea of what's going on. And then we'll build the whole thing. <laughs>